Where the spirit of Babylon is, there is immorality in a poisonous lack of moral clarity. Echoing the words of Revelation 18, Revelation 14, 8 says, Then another angel followed him through the sky, shouting, Babylon is fallen, the great city is fallen, because she made all the nations of the world drink the wine of her passionate immorality. As Isaiah 5, 20 says, Woe to those who call evil good in good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Like Babylon, whose name derives from the Hebrew word Bilal, meaning confusion, we are caught in a culture of confusion that calls evil good and good evil. The popular American culture not only tolerates evil, but champions it. We live in a culture that views the human heart, along with its desires and urges, as the leading source of morality, making right and wrong relative in worshiping the human heart above all else, even above God. This is why we must be vigilant. We must be the source of light to the culture and the nation to which we belong on earth, because we know, as Hebrews teaches us, that we don't truly belong here. We are nomads and foreigners awaiting our homeland. We are citizens of the kingdom of heaven, which Jesus prays for us to experience and bring here to earth. So we pray the words of David from Psalm 143:10, and here's what he says. Teach us to do your will, for you are our God. Let your good spirit lead us on level ground. Shaking this kingdom from our country begins with you, your voice, your vote, and your impact on the next generation. This is a question of foundations. Will we build our house on the sand or will we build it on the rock? We declare today that we will build our house on the rock. And we declare with our mouths and with our actions that the spirit of Babylon will fall in the name of Jesus.